So that's Kiki's delivery service, huh? Just short end credits. Yeah, that was pretty short, actually. Well, they were showing it during the ending credit scene too, right? Yeah, but even even for that though, like. Yeah. Huh. So how was the movie, boys? It was good. It's really good. Yeah, I didn't it was a nice, it was a nice, light-hearted one. Yeah. Nice little slice of life. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Some interesting. Definitely. Some interesting uh, twists and concepts. Didn't make me feel sad like Grave of the Fireflies. Yeah. <laughs> First part of life. Yeah, good. the backgrounds are really, really good. They did definitely up the art. The mm -hmm. backgrounds and the architecture stuff is all really good. Yes, definitely. A lot in it, of, of it all looks very like hand drawn too, very meticulously. Mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. So the characters themselves in the motion is not anything groundbreaking, but the backgrounds and the world itself did look a lot yeah, better. Yeah, mm -hmm. for me, I felt like the world. Yeah, the world was like the best part of this. Uh, I think maybe they were trying to flex the amount of character models they can have on screen at one time or something. <laughs> Cause there was a lot of shots where you know they showed the hustle and bustle of the city yeah mm -hmm. there was uh, there was actually were there any other previous studio ghibli films that we've seen that you know kind of matched that level of of um well we took such a long break i'm forgetting stuff but uh yeah right not not no i don't think so because like totoro didn't really have that much people on on set yeah uh, totoro only had like the family the old, the only only thing I could, get the fireflies like in the towns, that was like the only mm -hmm. time like I can remember like where there's a <laughs> whole bunch of people. Castle in the sky. I still feel like that wasn't as much. Uh, what were you gonna say, Amanda? Um, yeah, it was good, but uh, I don't think it was the best one I've seen so far. I know you said this is your favorite one, right, Joe? No, it's one of my favorites. One of your favorites? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what my yeah. absolute favorite is, but, uh... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I did like it a lot. Um, the only other thing I can think of that had a lot of people moving around was probably Nausicaa? Do I remember? Because they just had a lot of, they had a lot of, like, um, those little bugs, remember? Oh, yeah. Like, a shit ton of those bugs on the screen, but I mean, I just... Those are just, like, those are, like, copy and pasted. Yeah, yeah. And then, it, and then, um, what else? What's that one we saw in theaters? That was uh, Mononoke, Princess Mononoke. Yeah, Princess Mononoke. I feel like that had like a fair bit amount of people in this. I mean, it wasn't like a city though. It was just a village. Well, Mononoke was made after this movie. Yeah, that's. Is that the next one? No, that's far down the list, I think. Oh. It's Mononoke. Uh, I believe Breath of the Wild was very inspired by that movie. Yeah. Okay. In a lot of ways, or at least a lot of the similar Japanese folklore. But um, yeah. But, uh, I think this was this is the first time I've watched this one. I don't think I, this is the one I've watched. Yes, yeah, same. I didn't see this one. What'd you say, Josh? I don't think I saw it either. Oh, okay. That was the only one, huh? Probably upset. They say they're going to fly higher. Huh? They say a gust of wind's coming. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I, saw it, I saw it several years ago. There's a lot I haven't seen though. Yeah, I haven't seen all the studio Ghibli's either. There's definitely I've only, a lot more. I've only seen like a quarter yeah. of them, probably. Yeah, even less for me. I've seen Ponyo. Yeah, I've seen Ponyo. <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> I think the only one I can think of that I've seen really like Spirited Away. Yeah. That was again, so so long ago. Exactly. They might as well have never seen it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. This one, I think, I'd even an eight. Me personally, an eight out of ten. I agree with that. One. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, maybe a, a seven. Seven. Oh, seven. Yeah. Like, I just, I enjoyed, like, everything about it. It's just, like, you know, those little, little things. Mm hmm Uh, I didn't... Mm, it's very you know, enjoyable. Really anything about the movie? I, did, I was surprised everyone 
was fine with witches being a thing in the beginning. <laughs> so that thing yeah. Was- I, I, I was actually fascinated that they didn't go more into the witch. They didn't really explain it, though, like <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, Re- really, they just show that people kind of know witches exist and that she can fly around. It wasn't like a nobody's movie trying to, Nobody's trying to burn them at the stakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> just like, oh, okay, you're here. But it wasn't like she learned about being a witch more or like how to make the potions or more magic. She was just, she could fly. Right. And she just was living her life as a person who could fly. Had a yeah, yes. cat that can't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, yeah. I'm pissed about that, man. Yeah, that's too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, I kind of agree. I wish that uh, <laughs> Gigi spoke up again at the end of the movie. Yeah. I don't know what they were trying to imply there. but uh, That women ruin uh, everything. That's what they're implying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they were implying that he's never going to be able to speak again, or, you know, maybe only maybe only uh, Gigi can understand him. I don't know. Or it could be deeper. Nah, and Kiki he was t- crazy the whole time, and she never—he could never talk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, like... Probably. Yeah, I don't like that. They didn't really explain it either, which I don't like. Yeah. So whatever. I mean, he's still with her. I mean, they were flying around at the end, and he was with a, with his kid and stuff. Yeah, so, I noticed that. So it wasn't uh-huh. like he abandoned her. Yeah, I think maybe I think this one kind of leans more into the. Uh... Oh my God, he literally became a simp. He simplified the <laughs> <his> mind. <laughs> what is it? I would be surprised. He's got a delivery. Hey, who's your friend there? Lily's her name. Be right there. Stay there. I'll be right back. He's all yours. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder I mean, if. You know, uh, uh, do you guys think this one kind of leaned a little bit more into the uh, the territory of, you know, not explaining much of anything about the world? Do you think, you yeah. know, maybe you would have preferred it if, you know, they explained a little maybe, bit more about what was going on? Bit, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit more, like, backstory. Like, slightly more world building than they gave us? Yeah. Like, all the movies had more world building, you're saying, and this one had less? Um, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So, like, like uh, let me think that, about is that, it. Is that something you agree with? Uh, um, yeah. I, I guess so, yeah. The only difference I would say is that really the this is like a regular world with witches, so you don't have to explain a regular world. Whereas like right, some of the right. other ones, you know, they're like not That's a regular right. world. Yeah, regular world so, too. I mean, to a certain extent. I mean, this town is very much inspired by several different uh, uh types but of like, architecture in our world. Well, I'm sure you know this is just like a normal human city, just based off of different places, kind of. Right. Right. Yeah. There's nothing so, like overly really special about. Uh, the world itself but yeah i did, did uh, i would no. i don't know if i'd say they leaned into with, it more with, with, with that with that in mind it's like you know the one element that they do have that's sort of unique to this world is the existence of you know witches like kiki and her mother and whatnot and you know maybe they would have done well to explain a little bit more about how that works in this type of society you think do you think it would have been better for it if they explained it more hmm yes I guess it's up to like you know your personal taste, really. Yeah, I don't think it would have made it better because it's that story was like ra- barely anything to do with the witchness <laughs> itself. You know what I mean? The witches and stuff. Right, mm. but would you have preferred it if it was? Uh, maybe I don't know. Hmm. It'd be a different movie, something I think. to ponder on. Those, yeah, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm very partial to like slice of life movies, so I mean, I enjoy it for that. Yeah. The witch. I like slice of life anime. Saw in the beginning, like when she was going to the town, I thought she would show up again but no she didn't not at all not even once yeah, yeah no <laughs> yeah that, that too like i, I seemed, was thinking about that it seemed it seemed like they were setting her up to be a rival of sorts yeah, yeah. i was seeing it more of like oh this is the first taste of which is in the city and there's gonna be a lot more of being a witch meaning something like i don't know it's just more struggle or more people trying to harass you or i don't know but it didn't lead to that really it's kind of like i don't know it was, it was definitely more like a personal journey for geeky trying to find out you know who she is as a as a person her inspiration <laughs> whatnot and i don't really know if they um by the end of it i don't really know if i if i got the answers to that <laughs> so that's kind of what they were yeah. setting up that's true i wouldn't say we got an answer but i guess it's kind of like was it, it's the answer is i don't know it's just a slice of life she's just living her life there will never be an answer she's a she's a delivery girl yeah, that's it. She's that's what she that's what she uses her witch powers for. Yeah, and that's what gives her happiness in life. That, she figured out what being a witch means to her. 
being a delivery person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's more nuance to it that we're overlooking that we're just not smart enough to understand. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. I just I wonder. I wonder. What you I disagree. Agree. I wonder what uh, other people's takes on this movie are. I'm sure, yeah. it's different for everyone. <laughs> But yeah, overall it was it was good. Yeah, sure. I did enjoy it. I would, I, this is a movie I could watch again because it's not too heavy. Exactly. Like, you know, yeah, it's one not, of those you can just you can just you can just put on at any moment and just kind of get sucked yeah. into the world. Yeah. The beautiful visuals. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely is one of those. I'm gonna mm-hmm. call blimps dirigibles now. <laughs> do not do that. Do not do that. You want, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll call them dirigibles, and one day I'll just call it a blimp. <laughs> right? You'll never, you'll never know why. I, I it is some, like I inexplicably decided to call why it one or the other. <laughs> dirigible. How great would it be to go around the world in a dirigible like that? Dirigible. Use a different word. Use that word. Well, yes. Since I was a baby, is that like a Japanese term for a blimp? I don't babies. know. That's not a real word. Dirigible. You're so lucky. <laughs> Zeppelin, no. Zeppelin, just, what'd you call People those, like you just fly away on a broomstick, but me, huh? uh, Which word are you talking about? Dirigible? Flying used to be fun yeah. until I started Yeah, I guess, maybe. Hey, wait. You can't not enjoy flying. There's a You're word. A witch. I know. I still feel that Dirigible. way. Dirigible. But I'm very glad I came with you today. Airship or di- dirigible balloon is the type of aerostat well, or lighter than air, air aircraft. I myself at the same time. So like, You're a very nice person. So it's, you just found yeah. that out? Sorry. <laughs> this is that point, and that's what you call it. Is that point? You know, my mom says the same thing. This is that point. Quit looking up the sky and get back to your books. You know, there's just one of the sounds smart. That's all a dirigible is. Pick one and use it. <laughs> At first, I'm just like, well, do they call it a dirigible? Then I'm like, no, the name of the blimp is the Spirit of Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't they just call it by its name or something? Dirigible. <laughs> Maybe it was character specific. I don't know if they ever had a character saying both throughout the movie. Maybe like one I, character. I know the said boy said way. dirigible, but other people were saying it too, like the news anchor and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the news anchor said dirigible, then he, he also said blimp. Yeah. He did. did he? And then the... it, wasn't, it wasn't a different news anchor? <laughs> no, it was the same one. Okay. And then the it girl... Was the same exact one. The girl in the car said blimp, because that's when Kevin was like, why are you saying blimp? He just said dirigible. Yeah. Yeah. Although I guess the simpletons were saying blimp. And the sophisticates were saying dirigible. <laughs> Pick one and use it. <laughs> I got a great idea. Why don't we go down to the beach where that dirigible landed yesterday? Dirigible? Mm. Oh. That's the dirigible, right? Is that good? How great would it be to go around the world in a dirigible like that? <laughs> dirigible. Use a different word. Earth. Hi, Kiki. It's me, Tumbo. Did you see me today? I was waving at you from the dirigible. And Blunt got messed up by the end of the movie. Yep. They certainly yeah, aren't taking it to Paradise Falls. I wish I wish they explained what freak like what freak accident happened there a little bit. You know? Gust of wind. Just a big yeah, gust of wind? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that feels so underwhelming. It's hurricane season. <laughs> I wish what? it exploded. I was really hoping it exploded. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody died. <laughs> well, they didn't have to die, but it should have exploded. <laughs> Wrong movie, I know. But yeah, this was. <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably probably the most lighthearted in a Ghibli film we've seen thus far, right? Or would you consider mm-hmm. Totoro more lighthearted? Mm-hmm. Uh, this was more. No, lighthearted. this is more I'll lighthearted. See. Totoro has like a borderline fear factor with that creepy ass cat and stuff. Right. <laughs> Totoro, Totoro himself is kind of creepy. I mean, he's not that creepy, but he's a little creepy. This one doesn't have anything weird. The only thing scary ish would be like the blimp and the whole blimp scene, but. I mean, no, but nobody got hurt or anything or blood. If I saw this as a kid, I'd be terrified to, to ride in a blimp. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that as a grown adult now. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to blimp. 
No. Oh, why aren't blimps more, or dirigibles, more uh, common? <laughs> like, there's never any blimp rides. What? Like, blimps just kind of, like, faded away. Yeah, they kind of exist, but... God damn, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just kind of useless, because the planes are just better. Yeah, but yeah. And we also have hot air balloons, which are the same purpose. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. It could, could be used. Well, I actually They're did get to go. I actually did get to go. They are dangerous. I would go on a blimp. Yeah. I actually did get to ride a blimp as a kid a very, very long time ago. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't remember exactly how I got the opportunity, but me and several other kids got to go on a blimp. I learned and, hot air um, I wish I remember more about that's the experience, a, but we all have, of, you know. Hmm? With me, I, I'm okay with like flying and all that, with heights and all that, but roller coaster heights—that's something else for me. <laughs> well, it's probably because you're like in an open space and just attached to a seat. You definitely know you're outside when you're in a roller coaster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And of course, the dropping feels like you know how it feels. Yeah, like I feel like I could I could go in like a hot air balloon and. Uh, like blimp and everything, like no problem. But put me on a roller coaster, and I, that's it. <laughs> Don't. Do you like? Do you like roller coasters? Oh no, no, no. not at all. Okay. Oh, wow. I know that. That's that's uh, like my biggest fear. Oh wow. Oh dang. Yep. Ever since you watched Final Destination. <laughs> I've never watched Final Destination. <laughs> I don't like um, logs on cars. Like tree logs. <laughs> right. The Final Destination. Oh. I did see that clip. I did see that clip. <laughs> That's iconic, yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta go watch that clip, actually. I don't think I've seen it. Like, I know it, what you're talking about. Like, I know like that it exists because of, yeah. of how iconic it is. I don't trust, like, trucks in general that have things loosely on them. Yeah, usually I'll just try and get out of the lane if it happens. <laughs> try to be in the lane as far as possible or go just, past them. But they're always the ones who drive the fucking fastest, so you gotta drive yeah. like super fast. I, I don't trust trucks. I don't really like them either. Yeah. They just need to stay in the that, like lane and never leave. The, uh, especially those ones uh, having like those concrete tubes, like those giant concrete yeah. tubes. Oh my mm. god. There's a lot of that over here. Uh, Literally the only one I, where I live. Trust a little more are like the closed regular trucks. Yeah. Or like a regular freight. They're still, they're still crazy drivers, but. Yeah, yeah. It's always crazy when driving, you see a truck going faster than every car in the on this road. And you're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, so anyway, Kiki. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, definitely. All right. Definitely gonna go make a pancake now. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's favorite restaurant. Yeah, I love IHOP. Now we know why. I haven't been there in a while. Love IHOP. Damn, I haven't been in there. So. What's up? No, I said I haven't been in a while either. Yeah. I should go one day. <laughs> 